Hi friends, I am Zafar Iqbal and today the topic of my video is Elizabethan age. Elizabethan age was started in 1588, uh, sorry 1558 to 1603. This is, was a famous by three names, first one is Elizabethan age. Second one is Shakespearean age. And third one is Renaissance. This age was famous by uh, Renaissance because rebirth and reawakening of literature uh, the introduced in Elizabethan age. Then next <clears throat> we have Elizabethan age. Why we call Elizabethan age as uh, Elizabethan age? Because Elizabethan age was the name of Queen Elizabeth, so this name was famous also by Elizabethan age. Then next Shakespearean age. Shakespeare and why we called Shakespeare and age because Shakespeare was a great dramatist who uh, born in during the era of Elizabethan age. So then we have some also this age was famous because theater was introduced in this age in Elizabethan age. Then next we have First of all, before Elizabethan age, Tudor pairing. Then next, Elizabethan age, and after Elizabethan age. Jacobian age came. Before Elizabethan age, Tudor person was, and then next, after Elizabethan age, the Jacobian uh, Jacobian age was came. Then we have some poets, dramatist, and uh, prose writer in. Elizabethan age. First of all, I'll tell you about poets in Elizabethan age. Poets. There are many poets in Elizabethan era, but I'll discuss only few names which are fam which was famous. First one is Thomas Sequin. He was a great poet in Elizabethan age. Then next we have Thomas Norton. Edmund Spencer. Uh, Sir Philip was also Poet in Elizabethan age, same as Sidney Samuel, Brighton. They are, they were also, they were also poet in Elizabethan era. Then next we have dramatist, a famous dramatist in Elizabethan era was William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was a great dramatist in Elizabethan era. Then we have Ben Jonson. Ben Jonson was also a great dramatist in Elizabethan age. Then uh, William Shakespeare. Ben Jonson. Then next we have John Webster
William Shakespeare was a great dramatist in Elizabethan era. He wrote many dramas in his age, in his literary works. Then we have Thomas Decker, Shirley, John Martin. They were also dramatists in Elizabethan era. Then we have some prose writers. Sir Philip Sidney, prose writer. Sir Philip Sidney. Then next we Hooker. He like. They were prose writer in Elizabethan era. Then next. The famous name that comes in our mind is University of X in Elizabethan era, Elizabethan age. University of, uh, University of X was the groups of dramatists who, in, uh, who make, made a path for William Shakespeare, actually, who made a path for William Shakespeare. They wrote many dramas in Elizabethan era, Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Leitch, John Lilly, Thomas Kitt, George P. Lee, they were university of it. Thomas Kitt was also university. Of it. They passed their higher education from Cambridge and Oxford University. Then next we have uh, Robert Greene. Robert Greene said about Shakespeare that he was he has a upstart growth. An upstart growth means initial uh, growth of a growth. So then next we have Thomas Kitt. Thomas Kitt did not post higher education from any university. Didn't. So this is my all about topic. Have you any question you can ask me in comment section.